Yo guys, what's up? How's it going? So today, we're looking at Crow here at Crypto.com. Now I have to say Crypto.com because Coinbase listed Crow. Yeah, the main competitor uh, listed it on the exchange, so that's pretty cool. That's why we had that massive pump in the last couple days. So now you see we were up at a high up here of we almost hit 40 cents at one point, and I was like, whoa, here we go, 50 cents. But, like many other cryptos, Shiba Inu, um, Crow, uh, a couple other ones, when it gets listed on a new exchange, there's a lot of excitement, and then it starts to wane. So, now that the Crow is starting to wane again, uh, we're pulling back a little. And we're waiting for some more news. There's a huge push out there for NFTs. NFT market space here at Crypto.com. Massive. Okay. Uh, you can see over the last six months, huge, massive rise. Okay. We were down here under 10 cents. Um, wow. Amazing deal. There's a three-bagger right there. If you guys would have got in back then when I did. So, it doesn't look good for right now, but you can see, let's look at this last day, it's uh, been going down. That's to be expected. So we're going to have a little bit of a pullback here, uh, before we have our next little bull run. I'm pretty sure it's going to be listed on more exchanges soon, because it's a very popular crypto. And with the NFT space, the way it is blowing up, um, it's going to the moon. So, I'm still very bullish on the crow. I think it's going to 50 cents by the end of the year. Uh, I wish it would have kept going, um, but uh, all the good things uh, come to an end. And uh, a little bit of a pullback uh, before we have our next bull run. So, don't be discouraged, but be ready for the next buying opportunity. And uh, be sure you guys subscribe to my channel, and I'll let you know uh, when that is, potentially. Hopefully we'll be able to know when the uh, next exchange lists crow, because we'll see that next pop.